Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back if this is not your first time here. My name is April, this is Plan With April, and today, today is the day, I will be doing a layout with peaches and oranges. I'm going to show you how to doodle peaches and oranges. In fact, back here somewhere was my test pages. I don't even know where they are because I have been filling in a whole bunch of different spreads. So this is what my test page looked like. I really like the whole idea of the peaches and the oranges. They're bright, they're cheery, and it gets orange in my planner, which is not normally a color that I would choose. So I have grabbed every orange. I've got some peaches, I've got some pinks, I've got some reds. Everything that I could possibly find that was that specific color, pulled them out. So planning for the week of the... Oh, it's the 19th week already, which is bizarre to me. The April, no, May. It's it's May, May 6th through the 12th in my Hobonichi cousin, Avec Techo. So we are almost through this. And if you can see all of these blue like flags, these are all the pages that I do not have filled out yet that I need to fill out before I get out of this notebook and move into the second notebook. So I've been thinking of ways to fill it up. And one of the things I've been thinking of is practicing my doodles and just putting those on my daily pages. For some reason, dailies are not my thing normally. I have to really sit down and focus on the dailies. So I'm just gonna pop in here. I do not need like an exact science on what this layout's gonna look like. I think what I'm gonna do is definitely, you know what, maybe, even though I say that, and then I pull out a pencil. Oh, it's already sharp, look at that. Look at that, don't make me sing, don't make me dance. Okay, so let's go, I'm gonna start like up in here, and then let's go down to like here, and then the same here. because we all know I do not use this portion of my planner. So I think that is a really nice space. So let's go in here. I'm gonna do all different sizes of peaches and oranges. So let's start off with the oranges first. I'm gonna go down with the Crayola Super Tip Marker first. I'm gonna draw circles for oranges and they're not gonna be perfect circles. And again, I'm fine with that. I can hear the turkeys outside. Turkey, lurky, lurky. All different sizes. All different sizes. Let's do some halves. I need a half here, I think. Perfect. A little, a little one, another little one, and then let's do a corner one. Perfect. So those are my oranges. And just to kind of show you what this is going to look like, put this back up here. I've got a couple different orange. Well, I've got a yellow orange. Where's my orange orange? I've got two yellow oranges. Is it in with my... I was gonna see if it was in with my rainbow, it is. Okay, I need to sort out my colored pencils again because because they're not organized, they're still in, they're still in the other. So I'm just gonna color in with my colored pencil, which is gonna make this amazing and super crunchy. Super duper crunchy. So far, so good. So far, this is a very easy, easy doodle. We're just drawing what looks like circles. And they're not even like full on circles. There's no perfection here. There's, you know, there's no real perfection in oranges, period, right? They're, they're oranges. So 
they're going to have nature's imperfections in them so I don't want you to feel like you have to make these perfectly circular they're doodles I give you the permission to make these as imperfect as you want now if it's gonna drive you crazy and you're like April I have to have a template okay I'm totally down with that too you can use a washi tape round and draw it in. So you could take this circle, doodle it in. Look how nicely that washi is gonna work. Oh, I wonder if this washi will work too. I've had it forever, yes. Okay, perfect. I love when I find something on the sideline because I haven't cleaned off my desk. Oh my gosh, it is a, it, it is a mess. I probably should take some time today and clean it off. Clean it off. Clean it off. If you didn't come from the si for the singing, uh, uh, well, singing's free. It's included. It's included in your membership. All right, so I'm going to put that one back, and I'm going to grab the orange one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm only going to do half, and I'm just going to shade half of the orange, okay? half of the orange. What is on this side? Oh, that's right. Because of different things that happened last week, my schedule kind of changed. And so my layout also kind of changed. So I'm feeling that paper that I had put on there underneath. Blending this in. Already looking more like an orange. Orange, you're glad you tuned in. I know. So pretty. I'm keeping the shading on the same side regardless of what style of orange we've got. I think that's already looking really, really fabulous. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Need to sharpen this just a little bit. There we go. There we go. Again, we're not going for perfect. We are going for nature. Nature is not perfect. Not even close. Boom. Okay. So now that we've got the general outline of the oranges, I want to go in and I really want to do the peaches and I'm thinking, and I wonder, I don't know. I'm looking at all of my Tombos because I'm thinking a peach is going to be a little bit lighter um, on the top and then orange on the bottom is how I'm picturing it, more of a pinkish orange on the bottom. So I don't know if I wanna go in with like a pop of really bright color or if I wanna stick with more of a neutral. So let me see, let me see. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in, cause we can always darken this up. We can always add more of a pop. This is the color, Colors of the World, Crayola markers. This is light rose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to draw a baby peach. Fill it in. And all I'm doing is kind of like a heart shape at the top and then popping it down and that's it that is it it's almost I would almost say it's like an apple shape at this point so we're kind of filling it in I'm gonna grab this salmon colored pencil and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna shade this side just like I did with the others. I'm just gonna shade this side and then I'm 
going to add a little a little bit of dimension and actually this is a really great color if you are looking for like this the matching color to the Crayola marker the salmon is almost the same exact color so that's good now I'm gonna go in with a little bit darker of a pink and I'm gonna come down here I'm just gonna do the bottom You can hear my scribbles. This is, again, we are not going for perfection. Okay, now I'm gonna get my mahogany out and you're like, April, settle down. I know, I know. Just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna add a little bit. I'm not pushing very hard on the pencil. I'm just adding a little bit of color to the opposite side. hanging in there with me. Oranges are super easy because they don't have a lot of shading. <coughs> but peaches, peaches have a lot of shade, shading. They're shady, I tell you. They're shady. Shady. All right, and then I'm going to go, oh, do I want to do that? So far, this is all like really neutral and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You know what I need to do? I need to take this yellow and I need to blend this out. Those are really... These are really strong orange lines, so let's kind of let's kind of diffuse that a little. Okay, I don't think this is the color that I want, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. It's gonna be different. I think it's gonna be really different. Okay, so down here. Down below, we're gonna do more of an orange. So I'm gonna blend this out. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend it out. I know it looks really yellow. I know it looks really yellow. This may be a fail, we'll see. And then I'm going to go back in with this guy, kind of blend it out, blend it out. Okay. Oh, smudged. I smudged right there. Okay, we're gonna give this a second to dry. So I'm gonna go back in here with my pencil eraser and I'm just gonna erase this line here. Those peaches are a little bit, a little bit harder than I thought. Let me grab my greens. I do want to do some, I do want to do some greenery in here. Maybe we should do a little bit of, green. well, <laughs> maybe what I should do is pop in here. I've got the, this is like the, the knockoff for the Signos, Sigma, Sigma. I'm going to pull my sweater down just so I'm not smudging the paper. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna do a loose outline, maybe even a double outline to make it look a little more sketchy. Not like scary person sketchy. Hey bud. But like doodly, I pulled the chair over for you. I don't know if that was really doodly. Hi, buddy. Ever since we got home, 
Stark has been a stage five cleaner. Like, he's going to jump up on my lap. And he's not taking no for an answer. He's down there staring at me. He's like, I know you're talking about me. So I'm just doing a messy double outline. Oof, I don't know what I was doing on this one. Hi, buddy. No, you can't come up here. I know you really want to. I appreciate your diligence. Can you hear that? He's bumping his head on the bottom of my desk. <laughs> Desperately trying to get on my lap. Buddy, I'm filming right now. I love you. Oh, you turkey bird. You turkey bird. Fine. But if you you can sit on my lap, but you have to still let me doodle. That's not going to work. Oh, bud. I love you. I love you. I do. I love you so much. You're a good kitty. Mm. All right. Sit in the chair. Good job. Good, good job. So our cats do not purr like loudly, like a cat normally would. Instead, they do this Darth Vader like mouth breather thing and it cracks me up. Okay, let's go in here. I'm trying to think like what color green I want to do for everything, everything. And I think what I want to do is I just want to go in and I want to do, bye buddy. I'm just going to do some really simple, super simple. Not everyone is going to have a stem or leaves. Just going to add in a few, give it a little interest. Perfect. Just like that. Now I want a little bit darker. I think I'm going to go in either this one or this one. Let's try the Tombow 076. Just want to see. Hey, hey then. I say that he looks right at me like he knows exactly who I'm talking about. It's you, buddy. I'm talking about you. Ooh. Hey, stop. You turkey. Okay, so there's my peaches. Let's do some extra. Let's do some extra leaves. Hi, buddy. Yeah? What you got? To draw these, I'm just doing like a V, but making one side bigger, like a check mark. Just like a check mark. Okay, now I'm going to take uh, my Tombow N25. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit of dimension. So this side is my dark side. <laughs> so I'm going to put... Dun, 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. Mr. Sandman. I don't know why that song entered my head. Dun, 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 dun. We're just doing dots, so many dots. Dun, 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 dun. 
Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. All right. What do you think? What are we thinking? Do these look like orange fruits? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go. This one almost looks like a lemon shape instead of an orange shape, but again, nature's not perfect. So I am not even gonna worry about it. I am gonna do a little bit of a doodle. Yes, just to make this pop a little more. Move my hand out of the way so you can see it. Got a little carried away on that one. A little carried away is fine. Oh my goodness, what's going on over there? Stark. I love it that then he ignores me. He's like, yeah. Really, really love this. So, I'm going to move all of this out of the way. Out of the way. Let's do... I still want to do a little bit of zhuzh, a little bit of, a little bit of, you know. Let's go back in here. Let's put some dots in. I'm just using the same Tombow, the N25. I'm just going in and putting some fun little dots just to add a little, a little something to this layout. Again, I still have my sweater over my hands because... I don't know if this is completely dry yet. I don't want to mess it, see? Which I'm fine, it's fine. All is well. Do you want outside? Hold on, guys, let me put them outside really quick. Do you want outside? I can open the door. There you go. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. What movie was that? You are correct if you said elf. Okay, so back to the layout. Back to life. Back to reality. I'm going to flip this upside down. Because I want to add a cute little layer of this peach polka dot washi tape. I have no idea. Not a clue. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's do this. There we go. I was really struggling with that. It was like a super struggle. Lay that down. Lay that down. There is my heater. Heater's going off. It is so cold. I need to go out to my car and grab a bag of pellets for the pellet stove. Also got a couple of errands I need to run. It's going to be a busy day in a good way. And then I do like this orange. I do feel like that it, I feel like it goes with it. So I am going to, how am I going to do this? Choo -choo. We could mark off, I'm pulling my sweater sleeve down again. We could mark off the hours of work. So let's do that. 8.30 to 4.30. And then... That'll be a good visual. And I haven't done this in a really long time as far as like use the washi tape to put down my hours, but I'm really wanting to fill up the spread. I think this is really cool. And we will just go with it. Yes, yes we will. This palette knife that I'm using is available down below. The link is down below. If you order from any of my Amazon links below, I do get a kickback for the channel, which is super duper nice. Super duper nice. And then I can show you guys more random things that you didn't know you need, that I didn't know we needed, but yet here they are. 
All right, the ninth, you know what? I think I have, I think I have staff meeting here. So that may not be a true visual. Wait, what happened? Oh, these are way too long. I'm like, what is going on? Why is my work schedule out of whack? Because I'm trying to work until six. I don't work till six. I only work till 4.30. What is this madness? Whew. I'm just putting myself in for that overtime. I don't wanna work overtime. Perfect, all right, much better. So this one, actually this one is wrong. I'm gonna save this for another day. So this is gonna be eight to five. Is that right? Yes. I've got labor negotiations, which I am, I never really thought about being on the labor union team, but it has been a wonderful, wonderful experience. And I would recommend it for anybody who has an opportunity. All right, I'm loving how this is coming together. I'm loving it a lot. So, do I have a thinner, I have a thinner orange. I wonder if that would work. I've got this one. These are also tagged, tagged. I don't know why I said it like that. These are also tagged down below. I'm gonna pull this one. And then as I'm looking up, I saw another one. I need to organize this washi. <laughs> it's kind of becoming a bit of a nightmare. Let's do this one because I love this texture. Just add a bit to fun. Why not, right? That is a great thing about planning is you can just, sky's the limit on creativity. You could make it completely functional and not have like any decorations, which is totally fine. Or you can totally jizz it up, jizz it up. I don't know. I don't know that that's even a word. I think it's a word. It's a word today. Perfect. And then I will, I will write on those. I still can't believe I did extra hours. That cracks me up. And then let's put down here. I'm going to go, I was going to do individual, but I'm like, why am I going to, why am I going to do individual when I'm going across the entire like work week. You know it's coming. Work, 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 work. <coughs> Pardon me. Do you have any gray poupon? Remember those commercials back in the day? I tell you, I'm more of a commercial than a showgirl. Oh, that sounds not that's not what I mean. I would rather watch the commercials than uh, the TV show. How's that? Yikes. That got, got weird fast. Okay. So I'm going to go a pup up here. Ooh. Put this down. That down. So I've got all different, I've got all different, two different types of uh, washi tape in there. So let me, let me take a look. Let me see what I have. Let's see if this is my good Sharpie or if this is my Henri Sharpie. I'm actually going to do a little bit of a test. Hopefully it's my good Sharpie. It feels like it might be. So I'm going to write in here. Perfect. All this crinkly paper, I'm loving it. I 
I am gonna leave this for any after work chores, like if I have to pick up anything or I have to stop. Actually, I know Monday I usually do P.O. Box and I never go because it's Monday. So let's do P.O. Box on Tuesday. Let's do Fuel on Friday. That'll be perfect. Yes, okay. So that works perfectly. And then I need to do a film. here and then let's pop in with just my regular pen I'm gonna use the what am I gonna use what do I have in here my Lamy I think my black Lamy has black ink in it yes it's my white Lamy that has a different ink in it but I'm just gonna make sure nope Actually, green would not look horrible. Should we try the green? So originally this had black ink in it and I was too lazy to clean it out because I'm a brat. And then I just put a turquoise ink in here and it's kind of mixed into this really pretty like or dark green. So let's let's try that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these back because my desk is really getting cluttered. Really, really getting cluttered. See how easy that is? I mean, if I did that every time, <laughs> my desk would be super clean, but I don't do that every time. I really don't. And then I just have command hooks up above me that I throw them back on. So I am going to put my sleeve back up because I don't, I mean, I'm assuming these are all dry, but I don't know for sure. So I'm going to do my sleep. For whatever reason. I feel like I'm running out of space here. So sleep, I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then we are going to do 12, 10, 8, 7, 6, 4. That'll be my sleep tracker. Let's go ahead and doodle a line. Perfect. Looks amazing. I don't think there's anything I'm going to put under there. I could also, because I have been using the washi tape with all of this, I could go in. These are Diversity and they, they're like a crayon. They're made for like marking things in books, but they're like a crayon. Look at that. Not pretty. Anyway, I was going to fill in some of the background here and then I'm like mm. after feeling the texture because I'm all about texture I'm not a big fan of it I'm not feeling it so and I feel like this is puddling a little bit I know I know let's go over here let's do what we're gonna film on Saturday we're gonna film Hobonichi Cousin. Budget. Weeks. And composition. Perfect. As far as dinners, I'm not sure. Wes will be back home on the 9th. So really the only days I need to plan meals is like Friday night and we might even just go out because he's been gone and by the time he gets home I'll be like I don't know that I want to you know plan anything and it might just be nice to go out to dinner and just like catch up and hear how his trip was and all of that because yeah I like this let me know down below in the comments what you think are you gonna try the peach and orange layout and are you gonna doodle these I can't wait to talk to you down in those comments I hope you have the very best week thank you for tuning in again hit that like hit the subscribe and yeah I'll see you down in the comments I love you bye